plane would be destroyed. The engineers needed to know if the 777 wings could survive the strongest forces that turbulence or bad handling could produce. They were also interested in whether the same wing design could be used on future, heavier versions of the plane. It would be a simple question to answer, using a plane specially built for the purpose. They would just attach strong cables to the wings and pull upwards until they broke. As the test progressed, the force on the wings became so strong it caused ripples in the fuselage. The engineers hoped that the wing would withstand 150% of the strongest forces it would ever meet in flight. They predicted a wing deflection of about 24 feet before the break. Okay, retention, we're now holding at 120% design limit load. We'll again make a loads check. It should be a, a short hold here. As the tension in the wing increased, the crowd of observers, including many of the people who had lived with the plane for more than four years, fell quiet. Condition 15 and 75 seconds, starting the ramp now. May I have your attention, we're now loading to 130% of design limit load. The ramp rate is again 75 seconds. Although he was no longer the leader of the team, Alan Mullally was also there to watch. Whichever way you looked at it, the test was a success. Thank you. 